Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk about sending nudes and I've brought an expert, the wonderful, the incredible, <laughs> sex educator extraordinaire, Ruby Rare. Thanks for having me. Thanks I have sent many nudes in my time, so I feel like I'm very qualified for this. Yes, I do too. Yeah, <laughs> also good. in like a legitimate, this is my job, educator way. Yeah, should clarify that. So a few disclaimers before we get into the like, how to send nudes, how to ask for them, how to receive them, how to say no, how to say yes, yeah. like how to take them. Mm -hmm. All of these things. First off, there is nothing to be ashamed of if you yeah. are consensually sending nudes. Just want to put that out there. But also. only if you're over 18. <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> um, sending and receiving and having nudes and taking nudes mm -hmm. if you are under 18 is illegal. So please, 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 only if you're over 18. Everyone involved is over 18. But adults sending nudes, I think, has become a lot more normalized yeah, in more. recent years, especially in terms of like long distance relationships and uh, that pandemic. And so I think like, even though not a lot of people might be talking about it, like a lot of people are definitely doing it. <laughs> yeah, and I think we should be talking about it way more because mm -hmm. it's not something to feel ashamed of and it's not something to do like in secret. I think it's nice to be able to chat to people, whether they're your partners or just mates about the art of sending yeah. nudes and the logistics of Get it. Get some tips and tricks. Yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had here. But I think nudes in themselves is like <laughs> such a beautiful like form of self-expression and they mm -hmm. can be really hot if you're taking them or if you're the one who's getting them sent to you. Mm -hmm. It can just be another added layer to the sexy stuff that you get up to. What's not to love about that? But now, how to, how to send a nude. <laughs> so step one is the proposal. So <laughs> how to ask for a nude and how to ask someone to show them your nudes. I think it's important to note that you should ask every specific time. Yeah, just like all forms of consent, sexual or otherwise, just because you've done something with someone before doesn't mean that they're in the right mindset to do it again. Uh, it might just be a logistics thing. If someone's like at work or is having a cup of tea with their grandma, <laughs> probably not the best time for them to send a nude to you. Mm -hmm. So you've got to communicate before you get on the nude train. I think at the moment, like in our culture, the kind of asking the proposal for nudes that we see the most is just nudes, send nudes. Send nudes. And yeah. whilst, yes, that is a question, at least like there is some communication there, I do think that that is the bare minimum. Like what's the context? Add a bit of personal flair to it, please. And also send nudes to me just sounds kind of boring. Yeah. It's like an obligation or just like I'm bored can I see your naked body? Like when, you know, that might be a reason why you want to see a lovely nude of someone that you care about, but actually there are way better ways to initiate and to start yeah. that conversation. Like so, give me some context. Yeah, let's put send nudes in the bin and here are lots of other ways that you can start that conversation. And with starting the conversation, this can happen way before you are actually going to potentially like ask for some nudes or want to receive some nudes um, because you can have these conversations hypothetically. And this is like one of my favorite communication tips is that instead of it being real yeah. and it, in that moment with that person, it's kind of like, how do you feel about nudes? I'm in laughing because I, I can see the like sex nerd in you being like a hypothetical way of communicating, <laughs> getting really excited Let's about it. Let's do the theory. <laughs> <laughs> Having that conversation early on, like just when you're getting to know someone, going through all the questions of like finding out things about someone, whether they're into nudes or not might be a good thing to chat about in that early stage. Yeah, but here are some potential ways that once you get to the like practical, like you want the nudes, mm -hmm how to ask to receive some. I miss you. I would love some sexy pics of you to look at if you're up for it. I've been thinking of you today. Fancy sending me some pics so I don't have to rely on my terrible imagination. We'll send some sexy pics in your pose of choice in return. And then if you're asking to send someone nudes, then you could say something like this. I just took some ridiculous nudes. Care to see them? I'm feeling really sexy today. Could I send you a photo? The next step is the internal check-in. So how do you feel about the proposal? 
that you have received. And you don't have to really overthink this one too much because mm. it's just sort of what you're feeling at that moment anyway. It's just sort of quickly look inside, see if you have an inkling of like if this is something you want to do right now or if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. And also remember, it's totally okay if the answer is I don't know. Yeah. We're allowed not to know things. And it's totally fine to communicate that with your partner of just saying like, I don't know if I'm in the space for this right now. I'm not sure. Can I think about this a bit? Mm -hmm. Something like that. We're allowed to be awkward and ramble. And I'm very pro awkwardness in all things <laughs> sex related. <laughs> yeah. I think we're awkward enough. Yeah, we shouldn't be scared of that awkwardness. I think we assume that we have to like have all of the answers and be like completely together yeah. and know what we want. And sometimes we don't know what we want. But when you like receive that text that's like, hey, can I send you a nude? Or like, will you send me a nude? What was your gut reaction when you saw that text? Yeah. Like your gut reaction to things is a very important thing to listen to. So check in with that like feeling that you got when you first saw that text. Sometimes it can be a quick decision, like you see it and you're like, hell no, or you see it and you're like, hell yes. Or as Ruby said, it can be somewhere in between that murky, like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Remember, you are always allowed to change your mind, even if you say a hell yes yeah. or a hell no, and then you kind of go, mm, I've thought about it some more. I think differently now. That is fine. Just because you've said yes to something, doesn't mean you have to follow through. And then the two questions that are really good to ask yourself if you're finding it hard to connect to that like gut reaction. The first one is just, both of them are really, really simple. Mm -hmm. The first one, do you want to send a nude right now or receive a nude right now? And then the second one is, do you want to do that with this person? Mm -hmm. Because obviously this is very specific to the person that you're texting with right now. And if you feel like doing something sexual or tech related with one person but not with another that's totally okay mm -hmm. it's all up to you in terms of like what you're comfortable with so the next stage is the negotiation we've gone from like romantic proposal to like business time that's my favorite <laughs> part of relationships is the bit where you're managing everything and you're like how's this last year been for you okay let's check in let's uh yeah. manage our joint finances i love this shit so if you are a yes or if you're like, a maybe I need more information before I commit to this. Um, or if you're like a tentative yes, like yeah. all of those things, then you're gonna wanna negotiate. <laughs> then <laughs> this is like, not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some things that you might want to think about, overthink about and discuss before you commit to sending any nudes. So we have time, place, body parts. Which app do you use? Are you going to delete the photos after? If you're keeping them, where are you keeping them? Maybe in a hidden folder? Maybe a password protected folder. Are you gonna delete them when the relationship ends? Is the nude sending going to be reciprocated? Are you sending just one glorious photo or multiples? What clothing and accessories are going to be involved? And what's the purpose of the photo? Is it just a gorgeous photo where you look really hot? Is it something that is intended to be masturbated to? Is it just about spreading joy? or all of the above. So before we get into saying yes, and then how that all works, sometimes a negotiation will end in a no. Sometimes there won't even be a negotiation, there's just a no to begin with. And so here are some ways that you can say no if somebody has asked for you to send them a nude. I miss you too, I can't wait to see you, but I'd like to keep things IRL instead of sending anything. I just don't feel comfortable with it, but I like that you asked. Sorry, I think this time your imagination will have to do. I'll let you know if that changes. Happy to receive yours though, if you're still wedding, but no pressure, obs. Um, and here are some ways to say no to receiving a nude. Thanks for checking. Now's not a great time, but I'd love you to send them over later this evening when I'm in a more relaxed headspace. It made me smile to see your lovely message but I'm struggling with my mental health today and I don't think seeing your beautiful nudes will help with that. Maybe another time. I'd rather see you naked IRL first. So all of these examples are still really firm, but they're also quite friendly, flirty, positive vibes going on. Mm -hmm. That's obviously wonderful, but if you also want to send a message just saying no and please stop asking, obviously that's more than okay. So the goal with negotiating and this kind of back and forth is to co-create a nude sharing experience that everyone is into and everyone is comfortable with. <laughs> it's a group project. <laughs> 
And the thing is, is that if you can't come to the same conclusion, if you can't find something that everyone is comfortable with, then that is fine and it's not a failure. The goal isn't to send or receive nudes. Yeah. The goal is an experience that everybody wants. And if the experience that everybody wants and is okay with is no nudes being sent back and forth, fine. Wonderful. That is great. <clears throat> so sometimes there's an immediate yes, or after some negotiation, you've come to a mutual agreement and you're ready to start saying yes. So here are some ways to do that. The agreement. Give me 20 minutes. <laughs> well, this has made my evening way more exciting. I would love to help that crappy imagination of yours. And these are some ways to give enthusiastic consent to receiving somebody's nudes. Um, yes, please. I can't wait to see them. You have just made my day. That would be lovely. If I'm in the mood later, would you like me to send something back? And remember that you can change your mind at any time just because you've said yes at this stage. If suddenly you're feeling different later, that's totally okay. And if you've previously agreed that you can keep the photos, but then later somebody asks you to delete them, guess what? You delete them. Yep, delete them. Just, mm -hmm. they're gone. They're Go. gone. And delete them from the deleted folder. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> <laughs> now onto the fun part, the execution. How to send a nude. <laughs> so part one is your pre-production. So this is kind of mentally setting the scene and making sure that you're in the right headspace to get sexy and send a nude, and then also doing anything that you'd like to in the outward world. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be putting like makeup on or having a really nice shower or a bath or moisturizing. Uh, it could be accessorizing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what that means. Props. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. It's basically anything that you fancy kind of incorporating. And that could be to make it feel like extra sexy and thinking sex toys kind of thing mm. or if like you want to put on your favorite piece of lingerie but also it could be something really silly i've posed for nudes before like with a rose in between my teeth <laughs> and that is sexy and cute but I also like that. it's it makes it a bit funnier and i kind of like that mm -hmm. and then another thing is music to really set mm -hmm. the scene it's all about like figuring out the mood that you want like how you want to feel and also how you want the photos to feel and then picking music that's going to match that so if you want something super sultry go down that route if you want something that's a bit like sillier and more like fun and flirtatious go that route as well part two the photo shoot so find yourself some good lighting and mm -hmm. natural light is your friend yeah get yourself near a big window but will you be taking <laughs> nudes in the daytime in front of a big window get yourself Hannah? near like a private big window <laughs> <laughs> what if it's at night though if it's at night i think having like a bedside lamp that you turn the other way around so it's like reflecting mm -hmm. on your wall that can be really good for like a softer light Mood but also lighting. you could play around with like really harsh lighting if you get like your bedside lamp or like another light that you have and create like really intense like dark shadows and lights. Ooh, that could be fun as well. Get go, creative. Go arty with it. <laughs> Find something to prop your phone up against or you can also get like a really cheap phone tripod that has remote control. And when you're actually taking photos, self timer is your best friend. That's the thing that you want, whether you're setting it for like 10 seconds and then going into a pose that you'd like uh, or whether you have one of those cute little Mm -hmm. beepy things where you can take as many photos as you want that's i think the best way to do it rather than like holding your phone to take a selfie and i'm not exaggerating when i say when i take one nude i probably take about 130 photos <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a lot of photos because mm -hmm. you just want to get loads of them out there so you're not fixating on like what each one specifically looks like. You're there to have fun and be playful and try out lots of different poses and kind of see what works for you. One thing that I found is that sometimes the poses that look really natural and like you're so like effortless on camera are actually not that comfortable in real life. So maybe you wanna go for a not super comfortable pose but look amazing in a photo, or maybe you wanna say screw that and just be really comfy. Also, there is no pressure to create like a really high end, like amazing photography, like model style photo, but also at the other end of the spectrum, a grainy dick pic might not be the one. <laughs> 
Let's evolve beyond the grainy dick pic. Let's please. somewhere in the middle. <laughs> it's good to aim for. And my favorite tip is before you even start taking photos, just take a big deep breath in and out and remind yourself that you're doing this to have fun and you're doing this to celebrate your body, not to criticize it. And part three of the execution is post-production. <laughs> so selecting your favorite photos I think is a really lovely process. Sit down, get yourself comfy, and then go through and favorite all the ones that you like. Delete the other ones. I always tend to keep a couple of them that just really make me laugh. Like, just like the silly outtakes. Like the really, really <laughs> silly outtakes. And sometimes I send one of the silly outtakes as well because it just is a reminder that this is all fun and playful mm -hmm. and silly. And in terms of like post-production editing, like absolutely fuck the apps that make you look not human and your body like completely unrecognizable yeah. and not humanly possible but there are things that you can do like playing with colors and contrast and exposure and saturation and like filters and like what like vibe you want to mm. create blur out any personal stuff that maybe you don't want in the image like maybe there's something in the background that would be able to identify you or maybe you don't want to be identified by your body. So if you have like tattoos or piercings um, that are really personal, maybe you wanna blur those out as well. And another thing that some people do is watermarking their photos. So this could be just like doing a unique doodle on it so you know who the person was that you sent it to or like adding a literal watermark of like, sent to this person on this day. That's getting into kind of like espionage territory as well, which I like. <laughs> Maybe that could be the, the role play that you're playing out. <laughs> yeah. And we'll talk a bit more about safety when sending nudes later. And part four, distribution. So which app are you going to use yep. to send your nudes? Is it gonna be temporary, like things like Snapchat? Are you gonna use an encrypted one, like WhatsApp or like Signal? Highly recommend checking the privacy policies of apps before you send your nudes yep. through them. Um, or maybe you wanna go super old school, and I know people who have done print this. Print it out, put in it in LA. Yeah, I know people who have Polaroids and have like literally sent, enveloped and sent a nude in the post. Wow. If you wanna go wildly romantic, there you go, there's some inspiration. I kind of love that. As a personal recommendation, I would just avoid Facebook Messenger. Just, they have a lot of stuff on you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need your, your nudes They as don't well. need your nudes. And part yeah. five, feedback. This can be part of the negotiation as well. Like, do you want feedback? But if you have received a nude, maybe give that person some amazing, lovely, encouraging feedback. So you don't wanna just ghost someone if they've sent you a nude. It's a really nice thing to do. There's still a fair amount of vulnerability in it, mm -hmm. you know? And like, you know, thinking about the time and effort that someone's gone to take this nude that's not just a grainy dick pic. So you want to make sure that you are being very appreciative and thankful. And I like specific compliments, not just like, well, you look hot, but like, wow, I think this, like, I love, the curve that's like in between your belly Ooh. and your thigh, that's really sexy. You know, like that's, if someone said that to me, I would take that so much more to heart than mm -hmm. just like, oh wow, you look great. Although that's nice as well. I quite like the compliments that like, have literally left someone speechless, where they're just like, holy shit. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna get on our soapboxes and do like the safety piece which is really important mm -hmm. and we're sorry in order to have the lovely fun sexy stuff you need to have the safety stuff too yeah and in general i would say hope for the best and prepare for the worst all kinds of sexual behavior sexual activity have their risks and so it's important to be aware of those risks mm -hmm. talk about them understand them and make your decisions and do your actions with those in mind. And there are some ways that you can minimize risk when you're sending nudes. Mm -hmm. All of these, it's totally up to you and personal preference. So we've already spoken about watermarking your photos. You might choose to not include your face or any other like identifiable areas. Harder to do for some people than others as someone who's like got birthmarks and tattoos and very like visible things that look like me. Mm -hmm. That is tricky. I feel like it would just be a photo of, of like everything 
blurred out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think that can be a really good way to go. You can also take photos that aren't actually showing any breasts or genitals, and maybe it's kind of like a semi-nude, a tasteful nude. I mean, all nudes are tasteful, are they? <laughs> Most nudes are tasteful. Are they? <laughs> So you can do things where like if you're not comfortable like bearing all that things are being covered up by angles. So those are generally some best practices with minimizing risk. But one thing that we wanted to make sure you know is a requirement for sending nudes <laughs> is trust and respect. And that doesn't necessarily mean in a long-term committed relationship, you can absolutely have trust and respect in like casual encounters and scenarios, but like, it's really important. Do you trust this person? Do you respect them? Do they respect you? I feel like I'm just one of those little nodding dogs at this point, being like, trust, respect. It's really, it's really essential. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're gonna go on to some of the legal things now, which are just as important to know about. Uh, we mentioned at the top that nudes are only legal if you are over 18 years old. So any sexual image of someone under the age of 18 is legally classified as child pornography. And you can be criminalized for taking that photo, distributing it, being in that photo. Basically, anything if you're under 18, it's not legal. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't make up those rules. Those rules are there to protect young people. And it's really important that we are all aware of them. And then another legal thing we wanted to talk about was revenge porn. And I've been seeing some conversations happening around that language as well, because the term revenge implies that the person did something wrong to provoke the perpetrator and that maybe they deserve to have their nudes shared non-consensually, um, but that is obviously not the case. And also pornography is consensual adult entertainment material. And then there are also some conversations happening about not calling child pornography that as well for the same reasons, because pornography should be consensual and under 18s can't consent to being in porn. So regardless of the language that we're using, it's really important to just know both of these are illegal and both of these are things that people have been prosecuted for in the UK. And on a copyright note, because this is important, yeah. the person who owns the copyright of the photo is the person who took it. Not the person who's in the photo, the person who took the photo. And that's something that I think is also really important to be aware of. You do have control over your image and how your image is used. So if there's like a naked photo of you that you didn't take, whilst you don't own that photo, you own representations of yourself. And this is when it gets into a realm of, I do not understand, but look it up if you're like interested in diving into that and need some more information. So let's talk about the culture around nudes a little bit mm. because there's a bit of a double standard going on, like with everything in the world. Yeah. I think the relationship that we culturally have to nudes of men, which most often are dick pics, but not always, and nudes of women, are really different. So I've worked in schools for years delivering relationship and sex education and the amount of double standards that have gone on, especially with the treatment of like young women sending nudes. Yeah. So the reality is that nudes sometimes get in the hands of people who it wasn't initially intended for. And whether that's in schools, even though if it's under 18, it's illegal, uh, or if it's like in friendship groups or in the workplace, the slut shaming around this when it's women's nudes is just wild mm -hmm. and i've seen this in so many different contexts it's really unjust and unfair when everyone is sending nudes and yet it's one gender who gets all of the criticism for it and so let's just bear that in mind and try to be less shameful uh to people whether they're people in our lives or celebrities when nudes get shared because that's a really horrible vulnerable thing to mm -hmm. happen and we should have a lot of empathy and sympathy for those people rather than jumping to slut shaming. And also like most people send nudes now. Can yeah. we stop with this being like a really big deal anymore? And it's this really awful like dichotomy of, I want you to send me a nude. I want something from you, but I'm going to shame you for it. <laughs> if you don't send me a nude, you're a slut. If you do send me a nude, you're a slut. Yeah, it's, yeah, you can't win. So it's mm -hmm. important. That's why we've kind of laid the foundations here for having 
really good communication from the beginning Mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that you're on the same page about why you're sharing nudes and to make sure that you're chatting to people and potentially sharing like images or text with people who are not going to be really crappy and slut shamey. Yeah. That's our aim. And I think it's important to note that like nudes aren't a thing that you collect they are not Pokemon. It's not like, oh yeah, I got this person's nude. I got this person's nude. Yeah. Uh, nude sharing is a personal, private, and like intimate interaction. And it should stay between the people who it was intended to be between. And when it comes to unsolicited nudes, and in particular unsolicited dick pics, although I have received unsolicited boob and vulva pics in my time. So it's not just mm-hmm. the dicks. I Please, please, can this just be a thing of the past? <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. No one needs an unsolicited dick pic in the middle of the day. It's weird. It It makes no sense. Yeah. And like at best it's weird and just is a strange thing to receive when you were not expecting it. And at worst it can be really, you know, scary or triggering and it can really ruin someone's day. And, Mm -hmm. you know, no one deserves that. No. And your dick's probably not special enough that you should just be sending it around to it's everybody. Not. A lot of dicks look the same. Okay, this has all been very serious, but I want to end on a high. So, Ruby, please tell us about your nudes groups. <laughs> the wonderful nudes groups. I love this. So, I just wanted to share it to demonstrate how joyful sending and receiving nudes can be, and in a not necessarily sexual way way Mm. i've got two close friends one friend who every christmas sets up a nudes group which is like 20 of us in there over the holiday season we all take it in turns to sneak off from our respective families (gasps) and get as naked as we want to with props with like silly often christmas oh my goodness tinsel yeah all and like and then send nudes to each other and It's really nice in a time of year where some people are having a tough time. Being with family can be hard or Mm -hmm. being without family can be hard. And it's just super joyful. And another friend of mine started one during the pandemic when we were all far away from each other. Mm. And we were kind of losing this part of ourselves, connecting with other people in a sexual way or otherwise. And so there was this glorious nudes group where we would, uh, each week there was a theme. (gasps) And... And we all had to submit a nude and the winner from the previous week would select the winner oh. of that one and then they would go on to judge the next one. Who was the, the judge one. week one? The person who set it up. Uh, fair enough. Fair play. I, I love that you were straight away in with the logistics. Like, how do the rules how, work? How does it work? <laughs> so feel free to set up groups like this of your own. It can be really nice to just share your wonderful body with friends and people you love and trust. And it doesn't have to always be one-on-one and it doesn't always have to be explicitly sexual it's just like a celebration of who we are and our bodies Mm -hmm. with all of these things consent is so important Mm -hmm. but once you've got those initial consensual conversations down my message is to be as silly as possible and have fun with it exactly and i love that um thank you so much for watching i hope that you've learned a thing or two about nudes um thank you so much ruby for joining and lending us your expertise and your wisdom. Ruby has a book. It's actually right up there, grab it. Oh, it's there. Mm -hmm. This is Ruby's book. Do you want to give it a little plug? Yeah, this is Sex Ed. I wrote it. It's uh, a gorgeous, colorful. Mm. I'm trying to find a really good illustration. The soup page. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm. Mm. It's a gorgeous book, which is all of the sex ed that we deserve to receive at school, but most of us didn't. Mm -hmm. It's super inclusive of all sexualities and genders and talks through loads of the big emotional stuff and also really practical stuff like how to go down on someone. How to finger someone. Yeah. All all the good How to send a nude. Yeah, there's there's a whole section (laughs) on how to send a nude. (laughs) (laughs) exactly and where can people find you online so i am on instagram at ruby rare that's the best place to find me lovely well thank you so much for watching make sure to like the video if you enjoyed this um and i'll see you in the next one bye